Yeah, I got her in the car now. She's not going anywhere. There's only a little traffic in the BQE. Running a little late. Tell Jimmy to meet us at the house. Over. Sweet home. Fresh air. The last time you'll get to. Let's go. Go. Hasn't changed much, has it? Hey. You're late. 
Yeah, traffic. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Hey. Let's get started. All right. Yeah, it's, it's a bit bulky. Actually, I keep requesting the smaller ones, but uh, the pot won't spend them. I'm gonna need your leg, please. Is that too tight? Was this a date? No, it's fine. Now, it stays on your ankle all the time. It never comes off, even when you shower. He stays with me. You're now under house arrest. And you'll remain in these premises for the duration of your entire sentence. Understand? Yep. Good. Jimmy, show how this thing works. <sighs> You're free to move anywhere within a 100 foot radius. If you go past a 100 foot perimeter, an alarm activates. If the alarm continues for more than three minutes, the signal will automatically be sent and the cops will be dispatched to the scene immediately. That would be me. Break house arrest, you go back to jail. Any violation automatically adds 10 years to your sentence. You get it? Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Um, also, if you attempt to remove the electronic ankle bracelet or otherwise tamper with the base unit, again, an alarm will automatically alert the police. Just try. Okay. I want to make sure that you have maximum mobility within this restricted area. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome. Now, the base unit comes with its own power source. So even if we uh, get a blackout or something, it's live. Miss Watson, go to the front door, please. Good. Good. What do you think you're doing? I gotta get the mail, don't I? Questions? None of my end. How about you, Lou? guys that clean that up? You made the mess. You clean it up. You know, you got the next year to sit in this house and think about what you did. I hope it doesn't give you a minute. If you'd answer just one of my 911 calls or taken any of my police reports seriously, Mike would be alive today. You don't have to kill my partner. Better him than me.
got no one in the area to turn the power on. I, I called Connor twice today. The guy said he'd be here between one and four. Not until Monday? Oh man, I gotta go a whole weekend with no electricity? Ah, that's just too late. No, oh, that's it, thank you. Fine-ass better be in front of a color TV watching American Idol with a hagen dazs in one hand and a bottle of Johnny Walker in the other. <laughs> What's up? How's everything on the outside, baby? Well, I'm home, Chandra. But, you know, they gave me one of those electronic bracelet things, you know? So it's like I'm sort of still in jail. Stop feeling sorry for I don't know how much action I'm going to see stuck in this. You don't know how lucky you are. You make damn sure you never come back here. Rosie and Johnson are still in solitary. For Listen, my time is up. I gotta go, but I'm glad you're home. The girls in cell block C say hi. Call me. Come visit. Who's there? Please don't be a rat. Basement? That's where you've been staying? Yes, in the basement. Get out! Get out! Get out! I'm going! Get out! I'm going!
Hi, this is Christides. Do you deliver? Who's there? Christides delivery. Oh, uh, hang on a sec. You uh, just move in? Yeah. Well, um, not exactly. It's my house. I, I was away for a while. I live just up the street. This place was closed up for the longest time, you know? I thought um, the cops had... I don't know. It's a nice place. Uh, thanks. Uh, morning. Oh, um, Joey, hey. Hey, Joey. Uh... I'm gonna need you to bring me groceries regularly. Is that okay with you? The market is right around the corner, you know. It's... Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm kind of a stay-at-home type. It's cool. I could use the tips. Right. That's five. Yeah, thanks. That'd be great. So, um, what, what do you do? Oh, I, uh, I work out of the house. Right. Well, cool. <laughs> Okay, well... Yeah, well, I guess I should be getting back. I'll, uh, see you around, Miss Watson. Good morning. All right. Nice to meet you, Mark. What happened? I fell down. What happened, Marnie? I don't remember. You remember prison? Do you hear that bruise in the side of your face? I don't know. I guess it happened when I, when I fell down and hit my head. Oh, really? No. You don't get a bruise in the side of your face when you fall on your head. It looks like a person did that. It wasn't a person. Well, was there somebody in this house with you last night? No. 
You covering for somebody? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm asking you. Is somebody beating on you and for some reason you're covering for them? No. Why would I do that? I guess living in a house where you killed your husband must be tough on anyone, huh? I thought you were gonna clean that up. There's no such thing as ghost. I think I found one, Cat. Sales? Yeah, I'm calling about your ad saying you're looking for phone salespeople. It says here you can work out of your own home.
Thank you, Conhead. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Caffeine withdrawal. See, you haven't lost your flair for the dramatic. Oh, uh, I cut myself shaving. I can't believe you came. Well, I left a message. I told you I was coming by with the papers. I know. I, I thought maybe you sent your assistant or something. Well, what, you want to do it here? You want to do it inside? Oh, room, sure. Come in. Oh, sit down. So I see you're still biting your nails. Yeah. Thanks for noticing. I'm, I'm glad you're out. You know, I'm doing well. Well, it's not a, a penthouse overlooking Central Park, but it's home. Now it's your home. I'm gonna make some coffee. You want some coffee? No, thanks. Look, I have no idea why it was Mom's dying wish that you should have this place when you got out, but I couldn't talk her out of it. Yeah, I don't understand why you're so angry at me. I just sign the goddamn papers, Marnie. No, not until you tell me. I tell you what, that Mom drained her life savings to defend you, that I had to watch as the stress killed her, and then to top it all off, she used her life insurance to pay for this dump for you? Is that what this is about, money? You really don't get it, do you? This is about you. It's always been about you. Precious little money. I thought you worked this stuff out in therapy. Oh, you know, that's exactly what I would expect from you. You create all kinds of problems, and then you just assume everyone else is going to clean them up for you. This is the end of the line for me. What are you gonna do now? Go back to your fabulous life of book publishing and tell all your socialite pals you're an only child? And to think I never thought you caught on that quickly. It's ironic, isn't it? After all these years, you're the one who got all the attention. And now you'll spend the next year in this hole with no one but the rats to fall.
Are you okay? I'm never better. Come in. What happened? I fell down the stairs. I know. <sighs> My pop had to wear one of those for six months. I don't know if it was harder on him or my mom, but uh, she said things were a lot easier when he wasn't hanging around the house all the time. How long you gotta wear it for? <laughs> Longer than six months. Yeah. I know. You do? Talk around the neighborhood was some cop got killed by his wife. This place was empty for years. You move back to until, you know. The people have been talking about me, huh? Yeah, I guess. Bad stuff? Those people are idiots. Those people used to be my friends, Joey. Carol next door, Romero's down the block. We used to have them over for barbecues. I mean, I used to watch the kids for Christ's sakes. Now they don't want anything to do with me. Hey, screw those jackets. You want a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure. So, uh, what's the deal? I mean, what happened? I don't, I don't know if I should talk about it. Well, it's, uh, it's cool if you don't want to talk, but if you do, it's okay. Yeah. We married right out of high school. And we were really in love. But uh, as soon as Mike joined the force, he changed. He hated his job, hated it. And he brought it home with him. That's when the beating started. People didn't see the bruises? He knew how not to leave marks. You must have reported it to the police, right? Yeah, I filed six police reports, Joey. His buddies investigated. Mike denied it all. And then he beat the crap out of me again. I had nobody to turn to, nothing I could do. So I saw a lawyer and I, I filed for divorce. I was gonna move back to my mom's, but uh, Papers got shuffled and he got served today. It's okay. I got so scared. It's okay. Somehow, something came out of me, you know. I, I, I got the knife away from him and I, he died over there in the corner. $752.
I know I committed a terrible crime. A terrible, terrible crime. But I'm not a murderer, I'm not. Look, I want to be a friend. All right, I figured you could need something. And, uh, I don't give a crap what anybody says. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, this is my house number. And this is my cell. Okay. okay. You call me if you need anything, all right? It means a lot. Like I said, anything you need. Oh, yeah, actually, there is something. Name it. Uh, could you go to the library and get me some books? Sure. What, what kind of books? It's about ghosts. In order to cleanse an area of an unhealthy spirit, it is first required that said area be thoroughly eradicated of all the decedent's earthly possessions, belongings, and reminders. Hmm. What do you think? You got nine lives, what do you care? The easiest way to get rid of a ghost is to simply ask it to leave, okay? Use a firm voice and tell the ghost exactly what you want and why. This is the traditional practice of smudging a home to get rid of an unwanted entity. Crack a window in each room of your home. Take a dried bundle of sage and smudge your home, clearing out any negative or stagnant energies. Smudging is simply lighting the sage bundle and walking around your entire home, allowing the smoke to circulate and cleanse the energy and space. The main thing is your intent, which is your faith. Your intentions are to rid the home of negative energies and spirits, and they will know this if they are there. Oh, fuck.
going on. I heard screaming. Now what happened to you? I fell out of bed. Yeah, it looks like somebody's been beating on you. Oh yeah, like who? It's just me here, Shanks. You should know that. You've been staking out the place day and night like a stalker. Yeah, well, there's been people coming in and out of this house. Is there somebody in this house right now with you, Marnie? Define somebody. Meaning what? Look around. Let me know what you find. Before I got here. What the hell do you want? You're not telling me something. Morning. Morning, did somebody else kill Mikey? What are you talking about? I'm asking you. Did somebody kill him and force you to take the rap? No. Is that person come back here to make sure that you keep your mouth shut? Is that what's going on here? No, that's not it. I think that is it. I think that is it, because you're not even back in this house for a day before somebody starts smacking you around. I think they're back. I think they're here. I think they're threatening you again. That's it, isn't it? Isn't it? I wish. Marnie, who killed Mikey? Who killed Mike, Marnie? I... Who really killed Mikey? This is that kid, isn't it? Yeah, the one who's delivering your job, Marnie? Joseph DiCenzo? Did six in juvie for Grand Theft Auto? You leave him alone, okay? You leave him alone, Louis. He's just a kid, okay? He's my friend. He hangs out and he talks to me as all. Well. Why are you covering for Mike's killer? Let me help you, Marnie. Let me help you. You don't have to be afraid. Just tell me. We'll put his ass in jail and you can go once. Let me help you. Let me protect you. You can't protect me! Morning, I went back and I looked. I looked at Mike's files. I saw all the assault reports you filed on him. It was just like you said. I should have done something. But Morning, he was my partner. Now I gotta live with that. But I will protect you now, Morty. I give you my word. But you gotta talk to me. You wouldn't believe me. Try me. Mike did this to me. Only Mike's dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's taking the news badly. What? He 
he's a ghost. Ghost. Yeah, that's right. You know that line till death do us part. Oh, lady, 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 you can't pack your trash like that. You gotta wrap it properly, or I just can't take it. Come on, mister, please, just this one time, okay? I just promise next time I'll do I it. I tell everybody on my round. Lady, lady!
Thank you for coming, Father. I wanted to give you this. A donation I want to make to the church. since you've been to confession, Marnie. I'm here now if there's anything you want to tell me. Perhaps you could unburden yourself of any guilt. I understand this isn't the ideal confessional, but whatever you say will be strictly between us. <laughs> oh, please. Help me, Father. I don't know what to do. Help me. Did you kill your husband with murder in your heart, Marnie? Search your soul. No. No. I was defending myself. Then I pray you find peace. thing, Father. Could you bless this house for me? No. I don't think I can do that. house that belonged to you is gone. Nothing keeping you here. This is my house now. I want you to leave and be at peace. to leave my house, Mike. It's time for you to leave.
Yeah. Joey. It's me, Marnie. Marnie? Hey. You said I could call? Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Did I wake you? No. I'm just chilling. I didn't mean to bother you. Nah. It's good to hear your voice. Is everything okay? Look, can I come over? No, not, no, that's not a good idea. Why? Oh, it, ju it just isn't, okay? You gotta trust me on this one. I'm, I'm getting my shoes on. No, 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 no. Joey, no, not tonight. Some other night, huh? Promise. Oh, sweet dreams. Good morning. Joey, what the hell are you doing here? Hey, I was in the neighborhood. You're right. Look, I'm gonna camp out on your doorstep unless you let me in. Joey, you can't come in. I'm getting soaked out here. Joey, you gotta go home, okay? Please, come on, let me in. No. I'm gonna stand out here all night in the rain unless you let me in, so come on. Fine. Catch. Watch it. Ghost. Marnie, I've been outside your house all night. Now cut no he's in there. Well, let's see the warrant. Come downstairs and I'll show you the warrant. Yeah, you can show it to me right here. Come around with me and open this door. I'm in the shower. Put some clothes on and open the door. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Hold off. Basement. All right. Check the basement. Okay. Marty. Where is he? Easy. Where is he? I told you he's not here. He's not here.
Let's go. Go by his house, check by that market he works at. He's going to show up. You admit he was here last night. Yeah. When did he leave? I don't know, around one. And what were you doing? Screwing each other's brains out. In your husband's house. In his bed. <gasps> this isn't over. You know the way out. I don't know where you stashed this kid. Right, I don't know where he's hiding, but I'm gonna be out in that car all day, every day, until he comes back, because I know he's coming back, Marnie. You bought yourself maybe two or three days. I want you out of my house, Shanks. Okay. Thanks. Cannon will be used to get you home. Go ahead and arrest me. I'll never be free anyway. Thank you. Okay, this is Jenks. I got the Dicenzo kid dead in the woman's apartment. I got her cuffed. It's under control. I'm bringing her in now. Over. Let's go. You win, Mike. What the fuck? It's me, it's Lou. Mike, what happened? You stay away from her. You stay away from her! You stay away from her! Mike, stay away from her, Mike! Mike, you stay away from her!
should go. You should go. Thank you.